Hey there, LT Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Hollow Knight. In the last episode, we did a lot of stuff, including do a warrior battle, murder some people. And now, here I'm in the City of Tears getting this Tree of Essence. Suddenly it makes, suddenly makes a lot more sense why there's so many dead ends in this area. Because it wanted to make things a little more challenging for you. Also, I hate these enemies. Yeah, this whole room is just an exhibition for... ...getting this stuff. I'm also realizing now... sort I sort of realized it during that stupid, uh... ...City of Tears... ...gauntlet... ...at the top of the room where it was like... All the different enemies I kept spawning in. I kind of realized that there's two types of floating enemies and floating bug enemies that I did not realize were actually two types of enemies. There's ones with regular spears and then ones with like lances or whatever. And the ones with the lances throw like They have much more ranged attacks, and it's kind of annoying in that regard. Mm. Part of me kind of wants to go down and see and sell some stuff and see the Nail Master, but the other part of me just wants to kind of progress. And I really don't know if I want to come all the way back up here. I think I can come back at a later date, because I have the King's Station thing. So since I have that, I can, I, I would say a little more easily... Uh, get back there when I really want to. Plus I do also need to come back here... Eventually anyway, due to how... There's the other thing. All right. So, I'm also gonna travel back to Forgotten Crossroads again because I have enough money for the first, uh, the first notch that I ignored because I got the $500 notch, but not the $150 notch. So now I can afford that one. So I'm gonna go grab it real quick since it's just right here. Hello. Oh, it's 120, not 150. Whatever. I still had enough. Alright, now with my extra charm notches. God, uh, that's so helpful. I got three extra charm notches in, like, two episodes. It's brilliant. Alright, now then. I'm gonna... I have two plans. Number one, head back up to the thing. The... Place. Uh... Upper place. King's Path or whatever. Opening area. Howling Peaks, that's what it is. I want to go back there because... There's a tree there that I want to grab. Okay, I'm back up here in Howling Cliffs. And over here is where this guy is. And over here was the room that I couldn't enter before. Now I can. Well, I could get here before, but... All of this was so dark, you couldn't see anything. Okay, that's something I'm gonna fall back down. So this is gonna loop around. Oh god! That's just cruel. 
That's still cruel. Forcing you to use game mechanics like looking around. How cruel could they get? I can't even imagine doing this without the lantern though. Like, the clever thing is, all of it is possible. I think that's obvious that all of this is possible without this lantern. It is, at its most technical, optional. But, you'd really have to know the layout, all the enemy locations, all the everything, to even remotely have a chance at doing this. Considering everything. So it's so it's kinda interesting, in a way. Have we here? There are so many butterflies here that I have a feeling we're gonna get something butterfly related. Perhaps a butterfly notch? Something that makes me jump higher? Joni's blessing. What does that do? Oh, I see. Interesting. Oh, hi, buddy. <laughs> no, I just kind of took it. I just ate her. Now I feel bad. I ate her into my sword. I guess that's what I'm supposed to do with the Gravekeeper. That I found and, did, and was talking to outside the dirt mouth. Alright, well, I got that. Let's go grab that tree then. Why are the trees always in these giant areas? Why can't they just be in a small, confined area? I'm not quite sure how this extra soul thingy works right now. If I'm being quite frank. Here over there. Just making sure. Realistically, they could have appeared anywhere in the room. Stretch never ending, there's no world beyond. Well, I'm glad I came back here because there's a lot of hidden shit. Okay. I'll come back through that room once I'm done collecting stuff. Cause I don't I don't actually know if they stick around or not. Or if I have to restart stuff. 
in a simpler area, I would have been fine finding that out, but not here. This, there's just so much here that I don't want to have to redo. Well, I got 200 now, so I can go... Uh, back. I might actually do that. Because my other plan was to also go to back to Green Path. And explore there, because A, there's stuff there, I'm pretty certain. And I think when I was looking up the map, when I was looking up the, a map of the area for the flower and trying to find out where that was supposed to go, I think the area it looked like it went to was kind of to the left of Green Path, maybe? But even if I didn't know that, there's that giant lake that I found, if you recall, or whatever. That I can, that I'd now be able to dash to. This is a mistake. This is a problem. This is a problem. So I can go and do that. God, there's so much stuff here. I missed one. Good. Every woman loves to hear on the night of their wedding day. Um, here it is. There we go. That's all that then. So let's see what's over this way. Corpse of a large bug. Should I be concerned right now? I feel like I'm doing some sort of dark ritual. Um... I don't know what I just did, guys, but I'm scared for my life. Whatever. Alright. Uh... Alright, and I'm just gonna go back up. Cause I've got a lot of other stuff to do, and I can get the green path in other ways. So. Uh, BRB. Um... Um...
I was coming back here to steal the soul of the gravedigger. I... Let's see what this is gonna be! Cause this is what I opened up for my fiery thing. Babala, Geno. Having fun with an accordion bug, I see. Some weird sort of circus, I guess. Hello. You kind of resemble Bendy. Your voice is not what I was expecting, though. So there's three flames I need to grab? Honestly, this doesn't even seem too bad. I think I'll go do that real quick then, I guess. Cause that, all things considered, this is, doesn't seem bad at all. There's one there, one there, and one there. One of those I was already gonna be going towards anyway. Yeah, I can grab these. I don't know what, if this is really a good thing that I'm doing, but I'm gonna do it anyway. You guys also see where they all are anyway, so I don't even think I need to keep all of this in. <laughs> oh, so it's a battle, apparently. Like this. I don't think I've hit this guy once yet. I mean, I get his pattern. He has two moves. But he's in a very inconvenient area to do this in. That's the problem. If I had more room to work with, then this stupid tiny platform in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by spikes, this wouldn't be so bad. Or maybe if I could like reflect his fire shots back at him or something. There we fucking go, you asshole. That was quite annoying. While I'm here and stuff, I've freed some more grubs, so I'm gonna go just grab the grub money. Hi. Hi. 
Love me some grub money. Cool. Uh, you know what? The next one is right outside the stag station of City Tears. I'm just gonna go cut to the, cut to the next episode, basically. You'll see me there at the next episode, getting that other fiery guy. So, see you guys then.